Hey guys, welcome back to Civil Learning Online. And today in this video, I am gonna discuss about second method. If you guys are looking for some other lectures related to numerical analysis subject, then you can simply check the playlist because I have provided a link of the playlist in the description. You can go through that and without any further delay, let's get started. So let's begin the solution or uh, um, this method with and uh, with a formula and we have a formula for the second method that is x times x n plus one equals to x n minus one times f x n minus x n times f x n minus one the whole divided by f x n minus f x n minus one. Now what what are these x n plus one x n minus 1 fxn you will be more clear when i will solve an example La, let me select an example for you and then we will uh, solve that example and uh, with along with the video we will come to know about these terms also so here is the here is an uh, question uh, where we are pro we are asked to find the real root of the equation x cube plus x square minus 1 and we are asked to perform four interval of second method so for that first of all we need to find the range between which between which the root of this equation lies and for that it is similar to what we used to do in bisection method regular falsi method so first of all uh, let me check if uh, the root lies between 0 and 1 or not so we will take f0 if we put f0 means f0 means in the place of x we will put 0 value so if we put here 0 to the power 3 plus 0 square minus 1 we will get minus 1 similarly if we put f1 this is small f so 1 to the power 3 plus 1 square minus 1 will be equals to one we have got one positive and one sorry one negative and one positive value it means our root lies between zero and one so we can write here so the root lies between zero and one as our root lies between zero and one it means f x note it will be equals to f 0 will be equals to minus 1 similarly f x 1 will be equals to f 1 will be equals to 1 f x 0 f 0 is f x naught and f 1 is f x 1 and uh, we, here are the values which we have calculated now now let us begin with this formula so first of all what we need to do is we have to put n equals to 1 and putting n equals to 1 in this equation what we will have here x n is 1 so 1 plus 1 will be equals to 2 I hope you are getting simply put n equals to 1 so 1 plus 1 it will be equals to x2 it will be equals to now x n minus 1 means n is our 1 1 minus 1 will be equals to 0 so x note multiply by f x n and n is 1 so f x 1 minus x n and x n is x 1 so x 1 multiply by f x 1 minus 1 x 0 by f x n f x n n is 1 again so x 1 minus f x n minus 1 1 minus 1 will be 0 f x 0 now put the value from this see here we have x naught and f x naught is equal to f 0 so x naught value is 0 so 0 multiply by f x 1 we have calculated the value of f x 1 f x 1 value is 1 here f x 1 value is 1 here so 1 minus x 1 and the value of x1 x1 is equal to 1 so 1 multiply by f x node 
f x naught is minus 1 multiply by minus 1 and then divide it by f x 1 f x 1 value is 1 minus f x naught is minus 1 so minus 1 from here we will get 0 minus 1 upon 2 means minus 0 0.5 I hope it is visible yeah it's visible now after getting this value of x2 we need to find fx2 so in order to calculate fx2 simply put the value of uh, put uh, x2 equals to minus 0 0.5 in given equation we uh, and we are provided with the given equation is x cube plus x square plus 1 so f x2 will be equals to put it here x q plus in place of x we will put now minus 0 0.5 so minus 0 0.5 to the power 3 plus minus 0 0.5 square minus 1 on solving this we will get some value here this minus and minus gets plus so we will have plus 0 0.5 here sorry for this mistake uh, we will have 0 0.5 to the power 3 because this minus and minus on multiplying becomes pos positive so plus and uh, 1 and this minus and minus again multiply on multiplying become plus so 1 by 1 plus 1 equals to 1 by 2 then we will have positive 0 0.5 so positive 0 0.5 is q let me show you how to use calculator here so put here 0 0.5 to the power 3 this is power power 3 plus sorry then again press this and then plus plus 0 0.5 square and then minus 1 so we will get minus 0 0.625 now after getting the value of fx2 we need to put again put n equals to 2 and putting n equals to 2 what we will have 2 plus 1 here we have a formula here that is uh, this becomes n equals to 2 means x3 2 plus 1 will be 3 so we will have here uh, x3 will be equals to x n minus 1 means 2 minus 1 will be equals to 1 multiply by f x n formula is formula is f x n x n is again n is 2 so we will put here 2 x2 minus xn means x2 formula is xn so x2 multiply by f x n minus 1 means 2 minus 1 will be equals to 1 divide by f x2 minus f xn minus 1 so x2 minus 1 will be equals to fx1 now put the value so we have uh, x1 and the value of x1 x1 is 1 so 1 and this multiply by fx2 fx2 is minus 0 0.625 so minus 0 0.625 minus x2 so we have x2 equals to 0 0.5 here so 0 0.5 multiply by fx1 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 is 1 so multiply by sorry multiply by 1 and then whole divide by fx2 fx2 is again minus 0 0.625 minus fx1 fx1 is 1 uh, I can show you fx1 is 1 so 1 and solve this using calculator how we can use the calculator see here use this symbol and put the numerator value that is 1 multiply by minus 0 0.625 will be minus 0 0.625 minus 0 0.5 and divide by divide by uh, bracket starts minus 0 0.6 this is 2 5 6 2 5 minus 1 on solving this we will get uh, 0 0.6923 again now after getting the value of x3 we need to find f x3 fx3 so 
for finding the value of fx3 what we need to do is we have to put the value of x3 equals x equals to 0 0.6923 in the given equation and we are gi given equation we have x cube plus x square minus 1 so it becomes equals to 0 0.6923 to the power 3 plus 0 0.6923 k square minus 1 and on simplifying we will get 0 0.6 0 0.6923 to power 3 plus 0 0.6923 to the power 2 minus 1 we will get minus 0 0.1889 now put n equals to 3 put after calculating the value of fx3 we need to put we need to put n equals to 3 now because we have already calculated for n equals to 2 so this time we will put n equals to 3 i have just copied this value uh, because it was in uh, another page and uh, so that i could easily use it here and we had the formula that is this time we will have x n plus 1 means x4 formula is here here is the formula so i will be using this and n minus 1 means 3 minus 1 will be equals to x2 multiply by f xn means n is 3 so f x3 minus xn n is 3 so x3 multiply by f n minus 1 means 3 minus 1 equals to 2 f x2 and it is divided by f xn n is 3 x 3 minus f xn minus 1 3 minus 1 x 2 now put the value here so we have x 2 equals to 0 0.5 multiply by fx 3 is minus 0 0.1889 minus x 3 is uh, 0 0.6923 and multiply this by fx2 means minus 0 0.625 and then divide this by fx3 fx3 is minus 0 0.1889 minus fx2 means minus 0 0.625 now on solving this we will get some value that is x4 equals to 0 0.0.7756 now after getting the value of x4 we need to calculate f x4 because we are asked to move, go up to fourth iteration so we need to calculate for up to n equals to 4 so for that we need we will need the value of x4 so for x4 we need to put the value of uh, x x4 equals to 0 0.7756 in the given equation that was x cube plus x square minus 1 if you ask me to write it then we will have 7756 to the power 3 plus 0 0.7756 square and minus 1 on solving this we will get the value of x4 equals to 0 0.0686 0 0.06 8, 6 now again put n equals to 4 so we will have here x5 as per the formula x5 equals to x5 equals to x3 times f x4 minus x4 f x3 and whole divided by f x4 minus f x 3 and uh, on putting the value because we know all the value all the values of x3 fx4 x4 fx3 so simply put the value and we have x3 equals to 0 0.6923 multiply by 0 0.0 x4 is 0 0.0686 minus x4 x4 value is 0 0.7756 multiply by 
f x three, and the value of f x three, f x three is here, uh, zero point one eight eight nine, so minus zero point one eight eight nine, and this whole divided by f x four means zero point zero six eight six minus f x three, and f x three is again minus zero point one eight eight nine. Solve this to get the value of x5 and that is will be our final step. So guys, on solving this, we will get the value of x5 equals to 0 0.7533. That is our final answer as per the question. Now, uh, I hope you understood this step uh, method and uh, see you in the next video. Till then, stay safe and take care of yourself.